That breaking news right now. Take a look at now live pictures from Newscopter 7 of that massive fire that's been burning out of control at an industrial complex in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This fire started around 530 this morning. It is just south of Newark Airport, and you can see that oh. as an indication. Those planes landing at the airport getting quite the backdrop of this fire. The passengers, no doubt, taking in this incredible firefight that was underway and has been for several hours. And you can see that for miles, all that smoke. The fire has not impacted airport operations, but some some schools nearby delayed their opening this morning as experts monitor the air quality. That's the question. What is happening right now there on the ground? Darla Miles has been monitoring the situation in Elizabeth. So what do we know at the noon hour, Darla? Well, right now we know that this fire has been burning for almost seven hours now, but we do have a good sign. We're beginning to see white smoke come from the warehouse fire, which means that the firefighters might be close to bringing this under control. You can see you don't see the big black smoke billowing like we did earlier this morning, but there are a hundred firefighters here on the scene from multiple jurisdiction jurisdictions, including an FDNY fireboat tackling the water from the other fire from the other side. But there was a problem fighting this fire this morning. Not only is this an isolated and dead end street, and again, it's bordered by water on the opposite side. When firefighters got in there, they found that there were dead hydrants inside of the burning warehouse. Four, five o'clock, we smelled a funny thing. I said, maybe I might have had something burning on the stove. I said, no, it's not that. This monster fire is what families in Elizabeth woke up to Friday morning. Thick black smoke hovering above their homes, all coming from a ball of fire a few blocks away and was far from being contained. So I happened to look out my bedroom and I seen all this smoke. I said, what is that? Black smoke. The city says just after 5.30 a.m., a passerby saw the flames at the Elizabeth Industrial Park on Trumbull Street and called 911. Eyewitness News obtained this cell phone video of the intensity of the fire early on and its close proximity to the street. Two roofs have collapsed. We are fighting the fire from the outside, and the goal right now is to prevent it from spreading to other warehouses in the rear of this complex. This is the historic Singer sewing machine factory dating back to the 1900s. Now the main building and smaller ones outside are used as warehousing for various businesses. There's many warehouses, small warehouses in the back. Uh, how many, the exact number, I don't know. The, the building manager is on site. Uh, they have informed us that the building Buildings where this fire is currently uh, engulfed has no no pedestrians, no workers overnight. The buildings are locked up. We don't expect anybody to be in these buildings. The cause of the four alarm blaze still under investigation. Rescue squads, police, even fire truck as far as Summit, New Jersey was out here. So I knew it's something. Again, a live look here at the Elizabeth Warehouse fire. What you're looking at right now is a drone, uh, most likely a drone from the fire department. That is a good tool fire departments have been using to monitor the fire, especially when they are not able to physically go inside and fight it. And so that is another good sign that they're able to fly that drone and the heat from the fire is not affecting it. Now, you mentioned air quality. Uh, we do know that the Elizabeth mayor uh, asked the New Jersey Department Department of Environmental Protection to come here on the scene to monitor the air quality to make sure it is safe. But now that the black smoke is is, is gone, uh, some of that danger of that black smoke um, obviously has dissipated. But the problem is we don't know what was in those warehouses, what was actually burning, which fueled this fire so much that it raged so much to four alarms. So all of this is under investigation and we plan to get an update this afternoon at 3 p.m. For now, reporting live in Elizabeth, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And Darla, it sounds like firefighters will be there on the scene for a while, perhaps days. So, Darla, thank you. Now, as we turn our attention to the weekend, I mentioned that to say, how will this weekend winter storm that is approaching the area impact the situation there? It would be great to get some snow on the fire, but then also what would happen if the wind comes in as well? Let's go to Shannon Sohn, who's above a news copter seven as we take a look from above about what the situation is here at noon. Shannon, I, we talked a couple of hours ago. What has changed since then? 
Well, you can actually see where the fire department is physically getting water on this fire. And we'll even show you a Street Spotter 7. You've got a tower ladder up in an operation over here, one behind this smoke over here as well. And as Darla mentioned, in those areas, you can see that the smoke has sort of changed from black to white. But as you come more towards the middle of the structure that is on fire, that is still thick black smoke. So you can definitely see the impact that the water is making on this fire. One of the things we've been talking about at this point is they're really just trying to contain the blaze to the structures that are already involved. We've been talking about the roof collapsing. You can literally see the outside structure, the exterior walls are all that is left standing. But we do want to point this out. Right off the edge of the exterior structure of the wall, we do have some brush that has caught fire. We've watched the fire department walk over to it. They are aware of it, so they are trying to keep it contained to that area. But certainly, the more water we see get on this blaze, the faster it's going to go out. Reporting live over Elizabeth, Shannon Stone, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Shannon, thank you.